keep it. I am not after your money, just your ear. I can feel it. A great calamity is about to unfold in the northern reaches. The door is in danger. I don't understand. It was sealed for a reason. And now the pig-headed beasts are trying to force it open. Heed my warning and stop them. It must remain sealed. Perhaps a better question is... Why are you the only one to take it seriously? I once... <sighs> that was long ago, I suppose. What will it be? Let's resolve it. That death is worth the coin. Unexpected. Not bad. See that the kitchen is ready for the morrow service. Angels above. You've returned! The Reverend Mother will want to hear of this, but she's away at Corvalar. Seek your blessing there. Everything is unfolding as Inarius foretold. Soon, he will be free to escape sanctuary and return to the heavens where he belongs.
As a girl, she was sick, plagued by constant seizures. But Inarius healed her. When I met her, I was a sinner. But her faith showed me what I could be. There's no one better fit to lead us. One of our defenses against the prime evils. We fight terror with faith, hatred with compassion. We've built the mighty towers at Corvalar to withstand destruction. He was given a prophecy. Light piercing hatred's heart, it said. He knew what it meant, that he was fated to kill Lilith. And when he does, he will be redeemed, and he will ascend to the heavens once more. Something forged? Oh! 
Don't have enough fury.
ready yet.
State your business. Reverend Mother Prava expects me. Open the gates! Good soldiers. Worked hard. Fought hard. <laughs> Drank hard, too. Brothers. Sisters. I hope you find peace in these flames. Vigo? What are you doing here? So you lived. I came clean to Prava. About taking that woman's bribe. Ugh, it's looking bad. My ass is on the line. Might not have a job when she's done with me. Hey, you're here for her, right? Let's go together. Maybe she'll go easy on me if you're there. Not many could bear your sins. This is no mere armor. This is a holy vessel of the highest craftsmanship. It may uplift the repentant sinner directly to the light. Can armor do that? Hold. She's expecting us. Here we go. Good luck. Have the new watch commander replace the forces we lost at the mine. So, you've returned. Vigo here tells me you were braver than he. First, you will be made worthy of a blessing. A holy war cannot be won with faithless troops. Make no mistake, this war is holy. Lilith has brought the eternal conflict to sanctuary, and Inarius will deliver us as writ in prophecy. Until then, we have our parts to play. Make a pilgrimage to the Alabaster Monastery. Cleanse your spirit. Then we may discuss a blessing. May as well make myself useful. Come by the ruins, south of here.
There's a shrine west of here. There's a relic. I'm told it takes on your sin, weighs you down, body and soul, beats the hell out of you. It'll cleanse you, prepare you to stand before the Father. I hope you don't have many regrets, friend. This kind of thing is a lot deadlier for some than others. Watch out, all right? I'll find you at the end. Nothing good. Lost more than a few worthy soldiers to it. But it'll clean you up for Inarius. Rare honor for an outsider. <laughs> if you can call it that. Ah, no. I'm not ready. Not by a long shot. Even if I could survive the trail, there's no telling what would happen in the end. You, though, you have a solid chance. I had my doubts. The priests were always going on about the return of Lilith. But now she's here, just like they said.
creature of darkness, for you have wandered beyond the reach of the light. Lift your sins, breathe deep the cold air. The path to redemption lies before you, if you have the faith to walk it. Hark, creature of darkness, for you have wandered beyond the reach of the light. Lift your sins, breathe deep the cold air. The path to redemption lies before you, if you have the faith to walk it. into your bones. Welcome your pain. For the agony of the flesh is the first cleansing of the soul. Make your faith stronger than any hurt. For he has shown us the way.
I'm low on fury. Sinner, with that bribe, good soldiers died on account of what I did. Is that the kind of man I am? The kind I'll always be. I just... Damn it, I'm praying. Why isn't this working? You made it. That makes one of us, at least. You heard from Prava? I will, soon. But enough about that. You're about to meet Father Inarius himself. Not everyone comes back, you know. You'd better. I, I owe you a stiff drink. Not sure, but I've heard crazy rumors. Daft old monk, if the unlucky bastard still lives, Probably as cold in there as it is out here. It'll be ornate, that's for sure. Only the best for the one at the top.
kneel before him and remember you are small, wonderfully small. No, 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 it's not about kneeling, it's about wonder. Oh, the light itself, divinity itself, radiates from that room. Though my flesh is cold and numb, my spirit is warm with reverence. What can we do but kneel? And so he was, until the sweet poetry of the prophecy rang out. To divine its message, he pilgrimaged deep into Sanctuary's heart to meet. Uh, well, I shouldn't say. It pains me to withhold the truth of his light, but I sense it in you, pilgrim, so I shall tell you. He went to speak with the first of his children, Rathma, the prophecy's true author. He emerged armed with sacred conviction, a holy battle at the center of the prophecy, to be won by his blade. He has meditated here for years and years ever since, readying to meet fate head on. How do you know the warmth of the sun, the love of your mother, the beauty of a song. His presence is infectious. It takes hold in the soul. We are a void without faith, an empty well. The pious fill their cups with prayer. Mine overflows with his light. So near, so pure. I am changed. I am nothing. I am better. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs>